Right then, hello again. This, I'm pretty sure, is an old Suzuki engine, boat engine. And unfortunately, uh, we have a few problems with it. There's a shaft and a little three braid pop at the bottom. Now then, I'm going to have to do a strip down on this one because, as you heard of it, there ain't much compression. In fact, it's very easy to turn over, which is never a good sign up with these little engines. Uh, it's only a, I think it's only a two horse or something like that. So first job is to undo that one, that one, and ah, it's all falling off. And that one there, that one, that one, and that one uh, to get the engine off. And then we'll take the little head off, which is there, uh, just a few bolts, and see why she hasn't got any compression. I always find with these um, engines, if you're going to strip them to uh, strip them properly, um, um, we know the electric will work. <laughs> because my neighbour has a unique way of starting this old girl up. I don't know if it's going to be worth fixing, but I thought I'd show you. You put uh, a socket in there, right, and then try to start it up with an electric drill. So that's how bad the compression is. So there's something drastically wrong in there, so I thought, uh, I'll make this video and uh, you can see it in a pile of bits well this is what it's supposed to look like <laughs> well no it ain't there's guards that go around this yeah but uh, I don't know what he's done with them but we shall see on the, on the back here is the little tiny carburetor pretty simple that should turn but it doesn't <laughs> there we go it's just a bit stiff that's a choke see that little flap there chokes on chokes off so it can breathe through its little hole look at that tiny little hole there I can't even get my finger in there it's that small <coughs> There's a little um, piston in there going up and down. Sorry, a little piston that goes up and down in there. And let's see. So look, that there is a little hand throttle. <laughs> and the bottom plate there turns. Right, let's see it turn in there to advance and retard the engine. If you didn't do that, it just wouldn't rev too well. You've got to have advance and retard. Which, it adjusts the timing a little bit either way. You know, there it'll be at top dead centre. There it'll be a little bit out, and more out, and more out. Just to allow the engine to rev hard. And that screw there, right, makes it, uh, is an adjuster whoops let me a finger on it that's an adjuster so you can tighten this up so if, if this is loose right sorry let's get the filming right shall we if that's loose there and when it's running it vibrates down what you can do is tighten that a little not too much until it's a bit stiffer this one ain't too bad you know not too bad at all but yeah and it's got a nice little that is a, a an old an old um, 
style petri tap you turn this bottom bit there it's quite quite cute i've been looking forward to fiddling with this quite like it fiddling with these old boat engines yeah all fun uh, quite a simple little thing but i bet they're hard to get hold of if that goes but uh, uh, it still works evidently and it's got a little which i feel is very important a little tiny filter in there I don't think it's up to much, but it's there. Uh, but uh, with these boat engines, you get all sorts of, you can see a little bit there, that little bit of rubbish stuck to it inside the tank. So it's always best to um, um, have a little inline filter. I have one on my 20 horsepower engine, which is over there, that blue one. That's already been on the internet, that one. That's had a rebuild. And it's working well but unfortunately last week um, I took it out and my fuel pump decided to fail on me so I've yet found out that there's certain types of fuel pump to fit certain types of engine as well so that's quite interesting um, I thought they were pretty well standard you know so the ones I've seen but now you learn something every day still going well though even though the rings are two piston rings on one piston and there's three on the other it goes like a good one these are the old seagulls i got that i bought and they're going to need a dressing and this one is addressed nice bit of compression on that one very good goes like a trooper that one you can still buy the spark plugs for these things but the thing i got to get is a new um, plug cap because it keeps falling off it's pain, pain in the back when you've got to start it with a bit of string but it starts pretty good nice simple carburetor little choke goes in off i like chokes like this <laughs> they're so reliable <laughs> No cables to bust, no electrics to go. My mate's got a 40 horsepower, I think it's a Johnson, and the, uh, oh, what they call it, the um, solenoid's gone. And boy, that's going to cost him. I must ask him how much. But anyway, because the actual fuel goes through the solenoid and gets pumped into the... Um, uh, carburetor so that should be quite interesting that one but there you are I shall get it into a pile of bits and update you on the video and uh, you can see what's wrong with the old girl but we'll find out what makes it tick <laughs> see you later bye